Hey everyone, it's Ariel and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you looking a little bit crazy with my freshly washed hair because I want to try something. These. So these right here are Luxie Hair Velcro Rollers. And as you can see, they come in this beautiful black vegan leather case. This is what they look like when you open this up. There are a bunch of rollers in here. I don't know exactly how many. Three, six, nine, twelve. There's 18 rollers in here all together. And then it also comes with a bunch of these clips that you can use to secure the rollers. And they are so cute. Look at these. They have this beautiful gold clip and then this like marbly design. I mean, look at how cute that is, you guys. Love it. So they come with a bunch of these and here's the thing. I have used these rollers a couple of times already. I've had them for probably a couple months already at this point, but I haven't done a video with them because I've been wanting to try this one thing in particular and that is trying them on my natural hair. The first couple times I used them, I straightened my hair and then added them in at the end and let them sit for like an hour just to give my hair some extra volume and they worked super well, but I haven't tried them on my hair in more of a natural state. So today, that is what I wanna do. My plan is to blow dry my hair just with a round brush and basically blow dry it with the brush as smooth as I can. And I'm hoping that I can do that to my whole head of hair and then go in with the Luxie rollers and that they will help my hair keep that more of like blowout, like soft natural hair blowout look without using a ton of heat. So that's my little intro. Um, that's my plan for today. And I did kind of skip over it, but you guys look at how cute this packaging is. I mean, the gold, stunning, the clips, everything just has so much beautiful detail. Um, so I really, love that about Luxie and like just this case. I mean, this is just the case that they come in and it's so cute. I do want to mention that I do have a Luxie hair code for you guys. They do actually have a really big sale going on right now. All of the hair tools and accessories, including these Velcro rollers, are up to $75 off right now. So definitely a good time to pick yourself up some rollers or they also have all kinds of hair accessories. They have a curling wand. They have these really cute claw clips. I love mine. The actual Luxie hair extensions are really great as well. I have been loving mine so much. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen them a few times. But yeah, definitely check out Luxie. I believe the sale is on until the 29th of November. So make sure you check that out. It's all linked in the description. And you can also use my code LXARIELG to stack savings with this sale. So yeah, definitely a good time to check out Luxie hair. Just wanted to mention that before we get into the actual video. So make sure you check out the description box if you are interested. Now, let's get into this hair. So I'm gonna take this down. So I just washed my hair, I shampooed it, um, did a deep conditioner and I left the deep conditioner in for a while, like probably an hour. <laughs> which is what I usually do. It feels very soft. Any type of heat styling, I like to do it on like freshly washed hair because I just feel like you get the best results that way. And I don't wanna use a ton of product because that's another thing when I'm using heat on my hair. Um, I don't want to use a lot of products that are gonna weigh it down. So I'm just using a little bit of my Aunt Jackie's Quench leave-in conditioner, literally just a tiny bit. And I'm just gonna put that in mainly on the ends. And then very important, I'm going in with a heat protectant. This is the one I've been using by Tresemme. I will link both of these in the description if you're interested. Um, and I also have them linked on my Amazon store, which I will also link in the description. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna spray this all over my hair. This stuff is actually like super cheap. Like I think this, bottle is like five dollars or something and it actually works super well i feel like it's a good go-to if you don't want to spend like a ton of money on a heat protectant so i have my little bit of product in and now i'm just gonna brush that through starting at the ends always all right so now i have all of my product in i have it brushed through and now what i want to do is section and i actually forgot to bring a comb of course be right back. Oh, here we go. Tail comb. Perfect for sectioning. 
And then some clips. These are my go-to crop clips. And so I'm basically just gonna section in the middle and go all the way down to the back of my neck. So now I have two sections and I'm gonna also split those sections into smaller ones so that I have a good first section to work with. Okay, so these are gonna be my first two sections. I think I'm gonna do the bigger round brush. I did bring two of them because I wasn't sure which one would be better, but I think I'm gonna go with the bigger one. Although, maybe I should do the smaller one because it's closer to the size of the rollers. Yeah, I'm gonna do the smaller one. Yeah, I'm gonna do the smaller one. So basically what I'm going to do is use the brush to first pull out my root and kind of straighten that out and then I'm slowly going to work my way down to the ends of my hair and kind of create a little bit of a curve. And I'm just using my usual blow dryer. This is the Rusk CTC dryer, also linked in my Amazon store. But yeah, I'm going to use it on warm and high. Okay, so I don't know if you guys saw that, hopefully you did, but I also did like a little twirl at the end just to like really get that like bouncy curl effect. And this is my result so far and I'm just gonna let that sit like that and I'm gonna do that exact same thing on this side. is section number two and my original idea was to do all of my hair first and then go back in with the rollers but I'm kind of thinking that I want my hair to still be warm when I put the roller in so that it can really like lock into the shape of the roller so I think I'm just gonna do it right away now that I have like two sides done so I'm gonna grab two of the smallest size rollers gather all of this hair from one side Take the roller and then put it underneath the section of hair and make sure that all of the hair is actually like on top of the roller because it can slide off. So make sure that it's all on the roller and then slide it down until I get to the end and then roll it up, making sure that no hair is coming off the side. Keep smoothing it out and just making sure that everything is staying aligned with the roller should be nice and tight and then grab one of the beautiful clips and just pin that down like that and that is roller number one so now i'm just going to do that same thing on this side and there we go there is section two now i can take down more hair and just basically repeat that same thing Take another section of hair. So there is my next section. It's a little bit small, but I think that should be good. It's better to be too small than too big and you're not actually like smoothing everything out with the brush. A little trick actually is to make sure that your brush is a similar size in width as the section that you're taking down. So if you're taking down like this much hair, this thick of a section of hair, and your brush is this small, it just doesn't really make sense because then you're not like fully getting through the strands. So yeah, this should be a big enough section. I'm actually gonna get rid of this because my hair is really not that wet. The only thing I'm gonna do different with this section is I'm gonna do three rollers instead of two, and the reason for that is because if I turn around, there is a line between these first two rollers that I put in and I basically want to avoid making every section the exact same because if I do I might end up with like a huge middle part down the back of my head which is obviously not ideal so I'm gonna 
basically alternate the rollers. So I just did two and now I'm gonna do three. So I'm gonna basically do one right over top of those two rollers that I just did so that when I get to the end, all of the hair is kind of brick laid over top of each other and I don't have any like harsh part lines. Other than that, I'm doing everything the exact same. And I'm just gonna try to be somewhat careful that I don't touch this one at all because I obviously don't want it to fall out. <laughs> So I'm gonna just put the roller into this one right away while it is nice and hot, fresh off of the round brush. And I'm gonna try to alternate the sizes that I use. So for this one, I'm gonna use the medium size, which, wait. Did I accidentally use the medium size for that one? I don't know, that's right. So I'm gonna grab my medium size roller for this one. Same exact technique. Using my other finger on top here to smooth it out as I drag it down all the way to that end. Basically till the end is like smooth and flush with the roller like that. And then I'm gonna roll it up, keeping everything tight and smooth with the roller, just like that. And then of course, pin it in like that. And actually before I do this one, there was one thing I wanted to mention. When I'm doing this, I'm also making sure that when I go in with my blow dryer, I'm blowing the air with my hair strands, so in the same direction that they're going. I never wanna go this way against the grain of my hair strands because that's just gonna make everything look rough. It's gonna potentially damage my hair strands more because I'm basically blowing air directly against them, so Instead of doing that, I'm going in the same direction that my hair strands go in, and I'm using the heat to really smooth everything out between the hot air and the round brush down here. That is really important when you're blow drying your hair in general, but especially when you're using any kind of like brush like this. Again, just doing that little twirl at the end and that is my next section so again I'm just grabbing a medium sized roller and that is it so now I just have one more section from this section to do and I'm basically just gonna continue doing this, you guys. So same thing all the way throughout the rest of my hair. This is how it's looking so far. Alright, so last one over here, and then I'll only have a few more sections left. We're getting close. Alright, so now I just have these two top sections, and I'm not exactly sure how I want to do them. I think I'm just going to take a little bit from each side and do a couple of small ones on each side, and then I'll do the section around my part, I'll just do those back. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then from here, I'm going to do diagonal sections. So again, I'm getting that kind of like bricklay effect. So I'll do one on each side like that. So 
So now what I'm going to do is just do these little tiny sections on each side by themselves. And then I feel like this is so high. <laughs> and then this big middle section is going to all be one that goes straight back. It might be two just because this does look pretty thick to get through. So I might have to do two, but it's all going to go backwards. So that will be the last step. And then I'm done. My arms are so sore. <laughs> We're getting so close now. I'm so excited. Okay, so I actually just left for a few hours. I went to lunch like this. We got invited out to lunch and I went out like this. But I'm back. It's literally black outside. But I'm just going to continue where I left off. So basically I just have this little patch left. And it's pretty much dry at this point. So I think I'm just going to re-spritz it a little bit. First I'm going to do this side section to match this one. And then I'm going to do this middle section in two sections going back. So continuing what I was doing earlier. Last two sections. Okay, guys, last one. So that is the last of them. All of the rollers are in. Most of these have already been in for like four hours. So they're definitely already set, but I'm gonna let these ones set for probably like 30 minutes or something. Um, I'll kind of like keep feeling them to see like how um, cool they are, but I think I'm gonna give them like half an hour or so just to cool down a little bit. Um, and then I'll just take them all down at the same time. So. I'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm back. And my top two or three rollers, the last ones I did, are all cool now. So I'm going to go ahead and take all of these out. I'm going to start in the back because that's where I started putting them in. So I'm just going to start. I'm just going to take all of the clips out first. Clips are out. And now I'm going to start this very back section. Try to be really gentle. Pull it straight out and then I'm also going to kind of like reinforce the curl with my finger and look at that. I think this might turn out good. So I'm just going to keep doing that just kind of like gently pulling them out. This really isn't making the best sound but look at that. Woohoo. Shiny my hair still looks. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so this is how it looks immediately after taking the rollers out. I think this is a good sign. It has a lot of curl. That was the thing I was most nervous about was how it was gonna like hold the curl and actually be like smoothed out, but it's, so far it's looking good. Now what I wanna do is take a little bit of jojoba oil and I'm gonna run that through my hair. I don't want to do too much because I don't want to weigh my hair down, but just enough to kind of like get a little bit of moisture and prevent frizz because I am about to put my hands in here. First, I'm just gonna run it over my ends a little bit. So of course, the ends are always the most dry. Now I'm actually gonna flip my head upside down and kind of like shake it out. I need to stand up for this. I'm just gonna like shake these curls out, 
but I'm doing it upside down so that I keep the volume. Okay, so now I'm gonna kind of run my fingers through it, but I wanna be really gentle not to break up the curls too much. Oh my goodness, look at this volume. <laughs> my goal was to do a middle part, but it's not really wanting to part there. So I think I'm just gonna do my normal side part. But I mean, you guys see this volume, right? You guys see this volume, right? What? This is cute. I like it. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop playing with it while I'm ahead. But this is the finished look, you guys. Look at this volume. I mean, what? And it's a totally different look from when my hair's just straight, but I love it. It's like voluminous and I get a little bit of a wave. It's not just like, you know. I like it. Definitely gonna have to do this again. Yay, Lexi, we did it. <laughs> I feel like a super hip, like 80s mom. <sighs> it's so fun and it's like, it's just so light and bouncy. I'm not gonna be able to stop touching it now for the next hour. Okay, let me actually stop touching it because. <laughs> okay guys, so this is the finished look. I feel like it turned out really good, especially this being the first time that I did this. Like I feel like the more times I do it, the more I'll learn like, oh, it works better if I do this one this way. Or like, I can play around with it and tweak it. Um, but I'm super happy with how this first time came out. Props to these Luxie rollers. They're all messed up. I'm gonna have to reorganize them, but <laughs> props to the Luxie rollers. They're honestly like such good quality and I love the little clips that come with them. Definitely recommend and if you are interested in these, make sure you check them out right now because until the 29th of November, they are having a, a sale of up to $75 off everything, especially the accessories and the tools. So make sure you go and check that out. Check the link in the description if you're interested and you can also use my discount code, which is also linked in the description box. So check that out if you're interested. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful or entertaining or just enjoyed hanging out with me. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and also comment down below. Um, subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff's linked in the description as well. But yeah, that is it for today. So let me know what you think of my new hairstyle. I might like wear this often. I really like it. I feel so like famous. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.